Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Hello, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Learn from Chudan Bab. If you have already subscribed to my channel, press the bell icon to get the latest updates. In today's class, we are continuing with CBSC Class 10 French Sample Paper 2023-24. And till now, we have completed the half of grammar section and uh, the cultural civilization, uh, cultural civilization section is over. Right. So now, in this video, we are going to <coughs> complete the grammar section. Also, few more announcements that uh, number one, all the videos on this particular sample paper will be added to the playlist titled CBSE Class 10 French 2023-24. The link to the playlist is there in the description box below. Number two, all the concept explanation videos that are related to the grammar questions that we are discussing today, the links to those videos are also there in the description box below. Please go to that. Number three, the credit to this um, uh, the credit of this sample paper of course goes to CVSC. It's just that I'm discussing the answers over here. Okay, that's all. Now uh, that's all the announcements. Uh, now uh, question number four. D. The first option. Remplissez les blancs ap, uh, avec les pronoms uh, et le, ou les adjectifs possessifs. Uh, Fill, fill in the blanks using uh, adjective possessive and pronoun possessive. Adjective possessive, mama me toda de son sense noto noto no voto voto vo la la right. Pronoun possessive, la mia la mia le mia le mia and all that right. Now uh, one thing that was there in the previous year, some people also as much as I can recall, it's here as well. Now. A plus L is what? Oh, now this is the concept that we do in contracted articles, right? Now, sometimes it happens that you need to put a pen, uh, preposition, A or the, before the pronoun possessive. And pronoun possessive formation is what? L, la, followed by the word that you have, mia, tia, uh, sia, cn. Mien, Tien, like that, right? Now, in case you have A in front, <coughs> the contraction will take place accordingly. And if you have the in front, again, the contraction will take place accordingly. For example, the plus la is the la. There's no change. The plus la is due. So, in that way, okay. <coughs> So this thing is appearing twice, that's why I felt like I should quickly discuss it. Because we don't see this aspect coming in questions quite a lot, right? Jada Tufpa dash Kanne. Kanne, masculine singular. I can't find mine. It's uh, see for questions where you have adjectives versus uh, <coughs> sorry. Adjectives versus pronouns. If you have a noun after the blank, you're using an adjective. And if you are having nothing, like, of course, some words must be there. If you have, what am I saying? If you don't have, if you don't have a noun after the blank, then you are using a pronoun, okay. So, <coughs> the first one. Je ne trouve pas mon carnet. Je is the subject, so mon. Puis je me servir dash s'il te plaît. S'il te plaît. Indicating that we need to use a pronoun with the, with you. Puis je me servir dash. So can you use la tia over here? No. Can I be helped from yours, please? Now from yours. From the plus la tia. The plus la becomes due, so due tia. Okay, understood. That's how it's done. So, duty is still the play. Second, je trouvé the dossier. I found two files. Say more dossier. This is my file. <coughs> Quelqu'un a perdu dash. Someone has lost theirs. Quelqu'un, third person singular, a perdu. So, la sien. Why? Because dossier is masculine singular. 
method we have Paul D said dash equipe favorite. Paul is saying something. So this is my. Now equipe favorite. Equipe. Feminine singular. But we will be using more. Because if the noun is feminine singular and it's beginning with a vowel, we are always using more tone. Of course, in case of nu and lu, uh, wu and uh, il, el, the respective pronouns will be, irrespective adjectives will be coming, no to a note, both to the end, lad. But when you are using an adjective with j, tu, and il and l for a noun beginning with a vowel and it's singular feminine. In that case, you are using the masculine singular adjective, right? So, mo. Mo ne ki favorite, la kel e. Now, here you can use the feminine one, la tien. Which one is yours or which one is your favorite? <clears throat> Fourth one. Vous avez déjà complete dash de voir. You have already completed your homework. It's in plural, that's why vo. Uh, je n'ai pas encore fait la mia. I haven't finished mine. La mia. Samuel va envoyer les cartes à Dash Cousine. Samuel is going to send these cards to his cousins. So, se cousine. Et uh, les enverront il Dash. <coughs> now, lay is already there, uh, okay. Okay, fine. Here, lay is the diet object, uh, COD. So, it uh, lays on veron il dash. Now, you send to someone. A. A. Lay. La. Ideally, it should be this because <coughs> the subject is uh, it a uh, and them. The cousins, they are third person plural, right? What they will be sending? They will be sending cards, again, plural. So, you have to, uh, these of, this uh, one here, Layla. Now, Layla, you will be sending to them, right? So, A, A, Layla, and A plus Lay, contraction becomes AUX, so, O, Lar. Okay, that's how it's done. Now the or part we have over here. Uh, four D undi. One, two, three, four. Now it's adjective and uh, uh, pronoun demonstrative. Demonstrative to demonstrate like this or that. To point towards something. So, so say, set and CT is uh, your adjective demonstrative and then Saluisi, Saluila, Sella, Sel, C, uh, Sir, C, Sala, Sel, C, Sella. These are your pronoun demonstrative. Uh, the rule you can apply here is the same that if you see a noun after the blank, use your adjective. If you don't see a noun after the blank, just after the blank, use your pronoun. <coughs> Est-ce que dash is sandwich? Is si son plus frais que dash? So the translation should be Are these sandwiches here are more fresh than those one there? So if you see is already coming in the first part, so you, in the second part you'll be using la, pretty much obvious. Now sandwich is having, uh, is, there's a noun over here, right? The blank is having a noun after it. So say sandwich, the masculine singular, say sandwich is si. Now, so, plufre ka dash, those ones there. Masculine, plural, pronoun, demonstrative, composé. <coughs> in sampler, we don't have si or la suffix. Second, in sampler, we are using pronoun, demonstrative, sampler, we are using when there's already some indicator in the sentence to give some specification. When there isn't any, then we simply say this one here, that one there. Right? But if there's an indicator, okay, this one of this or this one from there, okay, we, uh, then we use simple one. Uh, voila the boom, 
j'avais a dash et tu dois aller à dash. Feminine singular, boom. So j'avais a celle-ci et tu dois aller à celle-là. Boom, as much as I need, like it's party, right? So you go to this one or, and I'll be going to that one, like that. The sentence is there. So, Nashet pa dash, Ashet dash. No indicator. If it's masculine, feminine, singular, plural, what to do? So for such situation, of course, we have been helped by the neutral pronouns, right? So, C and Sala. So, don't buy this, buy that. Sorry, don't buy this one, buy that one. Okay, so Nashet Pa, Sir C, and the second blank, Sala. Usually, we prefer C in the, like it's the usual thing. C is there in the first uh, blank and line the second. The reason being that <clears throat> when you indicate towards two or more things, you are indicating first to the object which is over here, which is closer to you, right? Then you are indicating to the one that is farther. Uh, that one, this one, that one, okay, this one, that one, not like that one, this one. It's the usual notion. I mean, even if you replace the things, it wouldn't make much difference. But please follow this chronology only, okay, this sequence only is more preferable. Tous les gens t'attendent. Everyone is waiting for you. Dash qui sont français et dash qui sont belge. Now, here we have. And in a specification, those who are French, those who are Belgic, sorry, Belge, right, those who are from Belgium. So, Belgian, ah, now I got the word. Belgium, people, nationality, Belgian. And Francais, French. So, tous les gens, masculine, plural. Already we have a specification in after both the blanks, so we will, won't be using pronoun demonstrative composé. We'll be simply using pronoun demonstrative sample, and both will have the same answer, sir, sir. Je n'achète pas dash Romo. Romo, I didn't buy this novel, so it's a masculine singular, sir Romo. Uh, je me bien acheté dash. I would like to buy that one there, celui là. Question number four, over. Question number four, E. Again, we have options, so we'll be doing both of them. Need not to say. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, so the little phrase avec le pronom relative sampler et composé, pronom relative sample composé. So sampler, uh, we have ko, ki, u, and do, and composé we have with three categories. First category with a. Uh, plus la quel, la quel, le quel, le quel. Second category, the. Plus la quel, la quel, le quel, le quel. And third category, miscellaneous prepositions. Plus la quel, la quel, le quel, le quel. So in the miscellaneous uh, prepositions, you have avec, sans, dans, chez, sur, sus. And all, if there's a preposition of that sort, then of course you are using your pure relative composite with that. With that. Preposition over there. <coughs> First one. Marianne a une robe bleue. Marianne has a blue dress. Full stop. Je l'aime beaucoup. I like it a lot. So, Maria has a blue dress that I like a lot. Okay. So, here we can simply use your pronominative sample, ke. And ke is always followed by a subject. So, Marianne. Ayun robe bla ka jem boku. Now the COD and apostrophe la it disappeared. Why? Because it has been replaced by ka. Okay, you have replaced the pronoun personal with the pronoun relative. Second, we have 
la table est cassée, cassée means to be cracked. So the table is cracked. Il a placé son pot de table sur la table. He has placed the phone on the table. Now sur la table sur, indicating the third category, pronominative composé usage. Right. So here we will be changing the formation of the sentence a bit to make more sense. So la table sur laquelle il a placé son pot de table. A cassé. So the table on which he had placed his phone is cracked. Okay. Number three. Number three, we have uh, Pauline a finalement acheté le livre. Pauline has already uh, for, for, finally bought a book. Uh, elle en avait besoin. She was in need of. So when there's besoin, most of the times we are using don. Okay. Don translates to of which, from which, right of what, from what. Anyways, so Pauline a finalement, finalement acheté le livre. Don elle a besoin. En replaced by don. Okay. Don't do this mistake. You'll, the marks will get deducted. So, la livre don elle. Don't write elle on a besoin. It's elle a besoin. Because it's already replaced. Continuing this, this one here, number four, we have voila les sacs, ils ont mis toute la affaire dans ces sacs. Dans ces sacs, now dans, indicating the uses of pronoun relative composé of the third category. We have uh, voila les sacs dans lesquels. <coughs> dans lesquels masculine single uh, masculine plural dans lesquels ils ont mis toutes leurs affaires dans ces sacs won't be written again number five we have uh, je suis allé à Paris j'ai vu plusieurs monuments historiques Complement of place, so we are using OU. Uh, also, not sure if the, there's some slight disturbance in the recording because uh, since it's the wedding season going on there are many more celebrations going on here and there right and because of that there's a lot of noise outside of the instruments and the music and all so i'm really not sure if uh, it's causing disturbance in the recording of this mic so hopefully it's not making much disturbance because the celebration is going on at a distance right and i am much closer to the mic like hopefully it doesn't happen. So just uh, hopefully the disturbance does not happen. Of course, celebration is happening. That's a good thing. Just with Ali a party, où j'ai vu plusieurs monuments historiques. I went to Paris, uh, where I saw several historical monuments. Okay. Now, okay, that part is a bit uh, narrow. That's why I'm gonna use it for subjunctive question. Now I'm going to raise this part. Let me just quickly check if the recording is going on fine or not. Just two more questions left in the grammar section, which are your pronoun personnel and your this thing, subjunctive. Interestingly, 20 minutes passed already. This video is also going to be pretty long. Anyways, it's fine. 
<coughs> Sorry, it's just not doing a bit well for the past few days. Anyways, for E. For E, the second option. Remplacer les noms soulignés par les pronoms personnels, E, on, etc. And with this, etc., we are indicating what? Pronotonique. Okay, so pronotonic is also part of it, don't ignore that. So, vous allez souvent au concert avec vos amis. Now, vous allez souvent au concert complément of a uh, non living thing preceded by the preposition a. Okay, concert can be taken as a place as well, or it can be taken as a complement of a non living thing preceded by a, or the place preceded by a. For that, we're using always Y pronoun, Y, which is E, pronounces E when we, using it, when we are using it in the sentence. So, vous y allez souvent, you go there often, vous y allez souvent. Now, vous y allez souvent avec, au concert, need not to be written again because it's already replaced, avec vos amis. Pronotonique, two usage, one after the preposition, second, to put emphasis. Here we are using it after the preposition, so avec a. Vos amis, masculine plural, that's why EUX. Number two, we have mes parents ont donné les cadeaux aux voisins. Les cadeaux, uh, <coughs> plural COD, aux voisins, plural COI. So it's very easy. Mes parents. Les leur Les leur ont donné Les leur Past uh, dog's verb and then past participle Okay, ont donné Third one, Maxime vient de rentrer du Portugal Du Portugal, complément de lire Preceding by the preposition the, which means we are using en here. So, common mistake people think uh, some students uh, may end up doing pronoun y because it is said that uh, for complement de lieu we are always using e, but it's not like that if the complement of place is having. The before that we are using en. So Maxine vient don vient don rentre. I guess I talked about this in the my in my previous video in the part three video where I talked about the placement of pronoun in case of uh, futur proche and the uh, passé récent <coughs> that the pronoun is placed before the main verb. Okay. <coughs> Fourth. Ce sont mes étudiants qui ont fait ce projet. Ce projet, very easy, COD. Ce sont mes étudiants. Look at the placement. Ce sont mes étudiants. So here, you, have, you, have, you must have seen those sentences like c'est moi, c'est toi, c'est lui, c'est elle. So we are put doing what? We are doing here? What? We are putting the emphasis, right? So ce sont mes étudiants. Ce sont eux. Oh, these are them. <coughs> Ce sont A qui, ce projet, COD, so, le, ont fait, beginning with a vowel, so it becomes L apostrophe. <coughs> Fifth, elle a mis de kilo de banane sur la table, ideally de kilo de banane should have been underlined. So, the kilo, whenever there's an expression of quantity, you're using en. You are replacing the noun of which the quantity is talked about, but the quantity does not get replaced. The quantity is kept retained. Say, these many liters, these many uh, kilos, that will remain, but the object will get replaced only. Okay. So, for that reason, it will become L on a me. Elle en a mis de kilo, de kilo sur la table. 
<coughs> and finally we have reached to the last question of grammar section which is question number 4 part f mate o subjunctive sank ushwa but we'll be doing all seven of them right la medesa regret ka tu dash na pa prondra regularmente le medicamo da Uh, medicine regrets that you didn't take your medicine regularly, so you na pren pa. So from the formation, of course, eight to nine exceptions are there. The exceptions video is there in the description box below for those who need to learn the conjugation. But the general rule is what you are taking your uh, third person plural conjugation, dropping the ent and then adding the subjunctive endings, and for most of the verbs. nu and wu conjugation is taken from imperfect conjugation okay <coughs> i said the word most of the verbs because there are several exceptions as well uh la professor is strict avec nous pour que nous dash réussir so réussir uh, conjugation with nu in subjunctive is same as what we do in uh, imperfect so réussition Third, we have not a professor exiges, uh, ex exige. Oh God, it's a tongue twister in itself. Not a professor exige that no dash fair suppose fashion. For a fair is an exception, okay. Fourth, my man work at you catch a dash. Method means a fair proper. No matter what my mother. Wants that I should keep my things properly in my room, so I met. Third person plural conjugation is what? M E T T E N T. You drop the E N T and then add E for J. That's how we got met. J met. Uh, il faut que vous dash. Quand le professeur vous le demande, so vous alliez. Je souhaite que tu dash venir chez moi, so tu viennes. And lastly, we have bien que vous dash. Savoir des verbes, il faut bien appeler les mots. So savoir is an exception. So for vous, it's sachier. And with this, we are done with the all. Grammar section as well. In the next video, most probably I'm gonna do the comprehension section first, and then I might do the, then I will be doing with the uh, proceeding with the writing section. So yeah, say to push you to that's all for today. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn French and Verb. And if you have any doubt or suggestion, you may write that in the comment section below. You may also like my Facebook page by the same name, Learn French and Verb. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Au revoir. Nous allons parler en français. Zelamour.